hello students today uh, in this particular video i will uh, discuss the second numerical of this particular file that is 6.4.20 so let us read the statement what he says two blocks of mass 60 kg and 15 kg are connected by the string and move along a rough horizontal surface when a force of 300 newton is applied towards the right at the block of 60 kg mass so this particular figure is given to us there are two blocks block a and block b the weight of uh, the mass of the block a is 15 kg the mass of block b is 60 kg both are connected with the help of string and a 300 newton force is applied to 60 kg block towards right so what he says apply d lambert's principle to determine the acceleration of the blocks that means a a and a b and tension in the string that means t and mu is given to us as 0.25 okay in this particular problem he is talking about one principle called as D.A. Lambert's principle so this principle we have already covered in unit number 6 uh, when I made the video of uh, theory of unit number 6 now this particular concept was discussed in that particular video so the concept name is dynamic equilibrium so let me give you again brief about this particular concept so what it says that if we have a particle of mass m on that particle if we apply forces let us say over here two forces are given f1 and f2 so those forces will have some resultant force let me call that as a summation f so that resultant force will be responsible for the acceleration of the mass and that particular acceleration will be along the direction of the resultant force so this particular system will be equivalent to a vector that is ma so it is the acceleration vector which is result of this particular resultant force now from this particular concept we say that summation f is equal to ma this is the newton's second law and we all know about it but in this particular uh, concept dynamic equilibrium we said that if we move this particular term towards left side so this particular equation will reduce to summation f minus ma equal to zero it means this particular system of forces is equivalent to zero means this system of forces is in equilibrium so this system has two kinds of forces one is summation f all the forces acting on the particle plus there is another force we call that as minus ma we call this force as inertia inertial force fine fine so he says uh, de lambert's principle says or dynamic equilibrium says that if we add inertial force minus ma to all the forces acting on the particle then that particular system will be in equilibrium so let us understand this graphically so as i said two forces are acting on a particle and they have a resultant force summation f so this is responsible for the acceleration of the particle which is directly proportional to summation f and its direction is along the direction of summation f so we say summation f is equal to ma now d lambert's principle says that if to this particular system means all the forces acting on the body a particle if i add inertia vector so what is that inertia vector it is the it has a magnitude of this ma but it is acting in opposite direction so if i add that vector here so what will happen this particular system will be equivalent to zero now so this particular uh, concept is shown here so two forces are, were acting on the particle so those two forces were responsible for summation f summation f was responsible for ma so but if we at attach this vector ma in opposite direction to this particular system then whole system will be in equilibrium so we call this equilibrium as dynamic equilibrium now this is a concept to solve uh, some problems in which there is a particle which is under the effect of some acceleration uh, under the effect of some forces and acceleration is produced because of those effects but still if you want to for, uh, solve those problems through summation f is equal to ma that is newton's second law then we make use of this dynamic equilibrium or d lambert's principle so this this helps us to solve such problems so same concept we will apply in this particular numerical as well so either you can write summation f is equal to ma or summation f minus ma equal to zero one and same thing okay so first of all 
in for this particular uh, problem we need to draw the free body of these two blocks because in this particular uh, problem two blocks are given both are in motion so we have to first draw their individual free bodies let us talk about the free body of block a so over here it is shown first step free body of block a so this is block a resting on the surface so the first force to attach on block a is its weight that is 15 kilogram is the mass multiplied by 9.81 it will act in downward direction so because of it there will be a normal pressure na and another force acting on block a is the tension in this string which will act towards right as friction is also mentioned in the problem so friction will act towards opposite direction of its motion because in the problem it is written that both are moving towards right so this particular system of forces acting on block a is responsible for the acceleration of block a towards right side so we will call that as this system is equivalent to m a a a now, so for this particular system two equations will be applicable one will be summation fx is equal to ma second this particular block is not moving on long vertical so we'll call that as summation fy equal to zero so let us apply that equation first summation fy equal to zero because there is no movement along y direction but there are some forces acting in y direction so summation fy will be equal to na minus 15 into 9.81 it is written here equal to zero so from here we will get the value of normal pressure now use the second equation what second equation says summation fx is equal to ma a a so how many forces acting in x direction there is only one force no no there are two forces one is tension another is friction so this will be taken as positive this is negative so we are writing t minus f a is equal to m a a a because there is acceleration of block towards right because of summation fx okay so f a will be written as 0.25 which is the value of mu given to us n a n a we have already found from uh, the above equation so put the value of na also so from here we will get one equation t minus 36.78 is equal to 15 aa so in this equation there are two variables we, we can't solve this equation let us call this equation number one now we'll talk about the free body of block b so in free body of block b what we have to do block b will be uh, uh, is shown on the horizontal plane first force to represent its weight 16 to 9.81 against that weight there will be a normal pressure represented as nb so on block b there will be two more forces tension towards left because of this block a and already one force is acting towards right that is of 300 newton so tension towards left and 300 newton force towards right as this block is moving towards right so friction will act in opposite direction labeled as fb so this whole system is responsible for what? Responsible for the acceleration of block B. So MB AB. So this is summation F is equal to MA. Now for this block is moving only along X direction. There is no motion along Y direction. So first equation will be summation FY equal to zero. So how many Y direction forces? Only two. This is positive. This is negative. So MB minus 16 into 9.81 equal to zero. So from here we'll get the value of normal pressure now apply the second equation summation fx is equal to mbab so this is positive this is negative so 300 minus t minus fb there is another force acting along x direction that is frictional force is equal to mbab mb is known to us 60 kilogram fb will be written as mu n that is mu is given to us in the problem 0.25 and nb is already calculated in the previous step so from here we will get value of t so we will say put this value of t in above equation so put this value of t in this equation so when you will put this value in that equation what you will get you will get one equation in that equation still there will be two variables that is acceleration of block b acceleration of block a but this is a single equation so it means you have to find some relation between acceleration of block b and acceleration of block a now if you observe this this particular motion you will find that acceleration of block a and acceleration of block b will be same because both are connected with a string and both are moving towards right so acceleration of both the blocks will be same so from the given situation so we have concluded that acceleration of block a will be equal to acceleration of block b so in this particular equation we can replace a b by a a so from by doing this we will get the first answer that is acceleration of block a then if we get acceleration of block a that is already equal to acceleration of block b so we will get the second answer as well now what was the next uh, thing we have to find that was tension in the strings once 
we have the values of acceleration of block A and acceleration of block B, we can easily find the tension. Either you can put the value of AB in this equation or you can put the value of AA in this equation. You will get the value of tension as 60 Newton. So I hope uh, this particular numerical is clear to you. So over here we learned one thing that was about uh, D Lambert's principle. It is nothing but dynamic equilibrium only which we have already covered. So don't get confused with the term. Okay, thank you very much.